John. Uh, let me ask you this question, Sarah. The confidential financial records of Michael Cohen's uh, company, Essential Consultants, were made public, prompting the Treasury Department's Office of the Invest Inspector General to launch an investigation as to how that happened. But among the records were payments from AT&T to a person very close to the president at a time when AT&T was looking for government approval of a proposed merger with Time Warner. There were also payments of over a million dollars from Novartis Pharmaceuticals at a time that the president was talking about doing something to bring down the cost of pharmaceuticals. It, is the president concerned about any aspect of what we've learned in the last 24 hours? Uh, as you know, due to the complications of the different uh, components of this investigation, I would refer you to the president's outside special or but, outside counsel to address those concerns. Is, is, is the president concerned that major corporations were giving money to somebody very close to him at a time when they had business before the federal government? Uh, I haven't heard the president express any specific concerns about that. Sarah, Sarah are, are, do you believe that Michael Cohen was ever in any way qualified to provide insights into this administration? Uh, I'm not going to get into somebody else's qualifications. That's something that an independent company that hires an individual would have to make that determination, not me. But let me ask you this, because you know, we, what we know is that Michael Cohen received millions of dollars apparently peddling the insights that he said he could provide into this administration to America's largest corporations. Is the president in any way embarrassed or ashamed of that? Because it seems to be the definition of swampy behavior. That uh, I think that would be up to those individuals who make the decision to hire someone, uh, just the same way uh, that the companies that you work for make the decision to determine whether or not they think that you're qualified to serve in a position. That's the decision of an independent company and has nothing to do with the White House. Margaret. Thanks, Sarah. Um, I'm happy to take the answer from the private counsel also, but I have made efforts and haven't been able to, so I'll pose it publicly if you can address it, I appreciate it. Um, do you know whether uh, Mr. Cohen ever approached the White House as a representative of any of those companies, whether the president was aware of the payments, um, or whether he was aware that Mr. Cohen was marketing himself? Uh, I'm not aware, and again, I would refer you to the 